What's up, my PT peeps? Brian back to talk about The Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 3, titled The Cell. We got some information, so as always, we share it with you guys. Spoiler warning, if you don't know the information, you don't want to know the information before the episode, stop watching now, because spoilers are coming. So, basically, here we go, Q&A, Episode 7.3, The Cell. How is Daryl treated at the sanctuary? For the most part, Daryl is treated like crap and is tortured. He's kept in a room the size of a closet with no light, music bears, blares 24-7, and he really can't sleep, and he's fed dog food sandwiches. Yummy. Does Daryl try to escape? If so, how? Yes, one time. They intentionally leave the door to his cell unlocked. He tries to escape then. Turns out it was only a test and a part of Negan trying to break him. So, he's treated like crap. Dog food sandwiches, can't sleep, music blaring. Sounds like a great stay vacation. Basically, you can see music's probably blasting in this there too. As you can see the doorway where he's sitting there. And there is a very small room. He's going to be treated like crap. Dwight, whatever, seems to be taking it out on Daryl. Daryl's a broken man. He's looking at walkers and something. And that's where they put the walkers to become, you know, their previous people that went against Negan or whatever. So I guess he's showing him that that could be you in there if you don't freaking act right or there too. That's probably the cell that he's in. That's the promo picture by The Walking Dead AMC. And that's probably how big the freaking room is. Very small. The hallway of the sanctuary. So we're going to see more of the sanctuary this episode. So I'm excited to see what it's going to be about. Negan comes down the hallway. They're testing Daryl or whatever. So it's going to be probably be a tough Daryl torture episode. What happens during the car chase? There is no car chase in this episode. You know, the scene they're talking about, but it's not in this episode. It's probably, I would assume, episode seven or so in the first part of the season. I think it's definitely in the first part of the season, though. Does anyone die? How? Yes, one of Dwight's friends. His friend tries to escape, and Dwight has to go after him, but he refuses to go back, and so Dwight shoots him. Okay, so there is no car chase, so I don't know if this is going to happen or not. If it happens, great. If not, we'll see it later down the road. So this was in the trailer from San Diego Comic-Con. So is this party we'll see? I don't know. We'll see where it's at. The early reports said it might be. So we'll see how it plays out. But it kind of sucks that Dwight goes and has to kill one of his friends on there. I guess Negan, whatever, for some reason. So we'll see how it plays out. You know, no car chase, which I thought it would be here. But later on, it'll be probably in the uh, later part of Season 7. Negan's probably talking his big dialogue. He's probably talking to Daryl or something here at some point. But I guess this is where Dwight kills the guy. So we'll see how it plays out on the show. Everything is his or will be. Continuation of that scene right there. Gordon's got to go. I don't know why he's leaving. Is he walking? Did they chase him down? Did Dwight fall off his bike? We'll see how it plays out. What can you tell us about any of the new characters in this episode? Fat Joey, great name, is one of Negan's top lieutenants and is one who leaves Daryl's cell door unlocked. Daryl's thinking that Joey is just a fat and stupid guy, falls for it, and ends up being punished once he's caught. The only other character besides Joey we see a lot of this episode is Sherry. Lots and lots of Sherry. That's the white wife. What do we learn about the sanctuary? They bake their own bread, have chickens and livestock, and it's very well fortified. It's surrounded by a walker fence or wall, very similar to what we saw at La Colonia on Fear of the Walking Dead. The people who are defiant and killed by Negan and the Saviors become part of the fence. So that's kind of crazy. That's a little twist on there. So we're going to see Sherry, Fat Joey, great name. So Sherry's probably talking to Daryl about what happened, how they got back and whatever. So we'll see that. Um, Sherry talking to Dwight and whatever. So we'll see how that plays out. And she's probably one of Negan's wives. So Fat Joey, Dr. Emmett Carson, Laura, and Gordon there too. Joey. <laughs> so I guess it's just Joey, but not Fat Joey. But they break their own, they bake their own bread, have their own thing too, and we'll see the inner workings of the sanctuary. Do we learn anything about Dwight and how he ended up back at the sanctuary? Yes, we get the full story. He basically decided to go back on his own and for the most part still feels he made the right decision. The story is told in part by Sherry and then the rest is told by Negan. That's pretty weak in my eyes. We'll see how it actually plays out on the show. Do we learn more about Dr. Carson, why he's at the sanctuary? Not much, except he's definitely drinking the Negan Kool-Aid and he believes in Negan and trusts him which is okay we'll see does daryl eat the dog food sandwiches yes at least until the very end he throws a sandwich at dwight in the final scenes of the episode so that should be pretty funny so we'll see how it goes out the inner workings of the sanctuary we get a whole sanctuary episode how when they go back we'll see how it's played out you know it's kind of weak i wonder if they got they'd be better if they got captured or whatever hopefully it's done in a way that's pretty cool dwight's talking to somebody there looks to be daryl if you look at the uh 
the sweatshirt looks to be there, I would think, or maybe another person with a different sweatshirt. We'll see. So we'll see how it plays out. Daryl throwing the dog food sandwich at the white. It's going to be great. Here's some more Walker Stalker picks, guys. Of uh, There he is, Norman Reedus at his booth. This is a great picture of cosplay uh, Governor and Negan <laughs> giving the finger on there. He's going to cut his head off. Be great. I love these picture of Norman Reedus and Andrew Lincoln with the zombie Packer fans, which is crazy. Great picture there. I love this picture of Boondock Saints fans. You know, Rocco and the Boondock Saints right there. And the Daryl dude and Norman Reedus right there, guys. So there you go, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Can't wait for Sunday. Subscribe to get more videos. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching.